Hello everyone, today we'll be setting up Foursquare uh, API for our project. So the first thing you need to do is create an account, an app, and for the URL, just enter anything. The plan, free. Remember your client ID and client secret, and we'll need that in a minute. And then we'll come down here and I'll show you what we'll be using today. So we'll be using get details of a venue search for venues, and get a venues photos. So come down here to your project, create a folder called API under source, and a file called index, and then we'll do class helper, um, then we'll have a base URL function, And base URL is for each request, this part never changes. Only this part after V2 is the only part that changes. But so instead of typing this over and over and over again, we could just use it once. <clears throat> just return base URL without the last slash. All right, then we need some um, auth, uh, authentication um, for um, our URL query. So uh, auth, then uh, we'll do um, const keys equals an object, and this will be our client ID, client secret. So we'll come down here. Get our client ID. Oops. Client ID. Bring client secret. Another string. And also, we need a, a version parameter. So Version is just going to be today's date in this format. Year first, month, and today is the 29th. Okay, so what we're going to do with this information is just turn it into client ID equals law and client secret equals blah and v equals blah. We're going to turn this object into a string. So we're going to do that by return object keys, which will get all the keys into an array of the keys object. We'll map over it. E, which will be a single key. We're going to return a string literal of key equals and the value of the key is key which will which will return a new array and we want to join it with and all right then um, we need to do some headers Uh, except application JSON. All right, then we're just gonna uh, we're gonna make a new fetch function. So static simple fetch. We'll take three parameters: our endpoint, which was anything after this. So venue search, venue photos, venue reviews etc. Oops. Our method should be put get post etc. And our URL parameters. So URL params for short. Which will be URL params will be um, anything in here. Um, such as um, near intent radius 
southwest, northeast, etc. Instead of just typing a string and typing and, you know, question mark, we're just going to use objects um, and just make a, um, and just turn it into a string. So um, we'll come down here. And you, uh, for URL params, sorry. Um, Okay, so for URL params, we need to build it just like we did auth. So we can do static URL builder, URL params. Um, if it's empty, we're just going to return an empty string. So if it's not empty, we're going to return object ease. URL params map string literal basically just copying this but filling URL params but instead of copying and pasting typing over and over and over again kind of embeds it in your brain so key no not key it's actually key uh, key equals URL the value of the key join and all right um so down here back to our simple fetch function um we'll let request data and this is for our fetch fetch equals an object um our method then our headers and since these are static functions, we have to use helper helper dot headers. All right, then we're going to return fetch. From fetch, we're going to fetch um, our endpoint on helper dot base URL then we need endpoint oh I don't know then um, question mark for our starting of our keys such as auth keys then URL builder for URL params so we're gonna go ahead and pass auth first. Then, and, then we're gonna helper.build URL params. Uh, then we need to return some JSON from this. Oh, we also need to pass Quest data. All right, so that's it for this. Um, we're not exporting this. We'll never use this again, only inside this file. So, class, or we're going to export a function that will, or I mean, a class that we'll actually use um, throughout our project um, for endpoints. So, export where API wait default class um some more static functions this is going to be called search um and search url params and we're going to get the search endpoint uh, which is just venue search we also need that word slash because we don't have it up here so Turn helper dot simple fetch or endpoints um, method get and we'll pass that down. Uh, then our next function that we can use um, call it um, venue details 
get a venue deep. Um, see what that takes. Get details of a venue. It just needs one parameter. So instead of passing that down into there, we could just pass it directly into our endpoint. So put literal um, venues and venue ID. Okay. Return helper dot some fetch venues venue ID method is going to be git and no UR params. All right, then our last one's going to get the photos. So static git venue photos. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use all that stuff. I just want that. So again, we don't have to pass your all params down. We'll just pass the ID. Return helper dot simple fetch. I think it said photos. Yes, venue ID photos. And this is it. All right, that's all we need. So we'll come back to our app. We'll import it. Import where API from API folder. We'll go ahead and test it. Component. Did mount um, where I search go back to search. Um, we'll use near Austin, Texas. Let's see what else we can pass down. Um, query. Um, we'll just use taco. <clears throat> Anything else? Um, I will use limit. And we'll just do 10. All right, and that's a uh, promise. So, dot then results console log results. Let's see what we get. Hopefully something. Oh, we do. Awesome. All right. So response, Yoko, futures, future, uh, venues. We get 10 venues. So, and there's tacos. Location, Austin. So it did pass down our near uh, key. Um, we get name, lat long, latitude long, longitude, um, formatted address. Okay, so we get some good information to make markers with in our next video. See you then.